same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So this one's going to be a little different. I'm going to be getting into um, the mindset of the youth. All right. And there's a lot of things that I'm going to show you guys here and how the youth are affected by the community and actions of the community. Um, and I'm not trying to degrade anybody who is being shown in this video's character i'm trying to show you the behaviors that lead to um these individuals becoming super gremlins on demon time okay so um this video uh come from a classroom and it looks like this was in good fun maybe a joke um, but it appears that he is supposed to be doing a presentation and I don't know what the presentation is about, but the teacher looks pretty annoyed, um, pretty irritable and he looks like he's had enough. Okay. <laughs> and this is what happens a lot of times in these schools where, you know, students pretty much do whatever they want. Okay. And instead of there being like one class clown, there's like, 13 class clowns in a class of 25 people. Okay, so you can only imagine the learning environment that uh, most of these uh, kids are in. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the video. I'm going to show you guys um, a lot of the things that were happening at my high school. You know, you would have full classes where kids literally would get in front of the smart board and dance the whole time. And, you know, we had 50 minute periods. And it ended just our 55 minutes and it ended just like that because, you know, 10 minutes of dancing, 15 minutes of, um, you know, not paying attention. Another 15 minutes of uh, cursing out the teacher. By then, you can't even get into the lesson plan. OK, so anyways, let's get into it. <laughs> So it looks like he was supposed to do a presentation and this is what he put as his presentation. Okay. Now I don't know what type of class this is, but obviously from the teacher's look, um, <clears throat> it looks like it's off topic. Okay. It looks like it's off topic. Teaching is not what it used to be. Okay. You there, there's no control of these classrooms. There isn't. And he can't do anything about this. He's got to let it fly. He's got to let it keep riding. <laughs> this is what's happening in the classrooms and in we're wondering why uh, young black males are reading at a fourth grade level. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, this next video is a little of the same what's going on in these schools. And this is just, in my opinion, it's unacceptable. Okay, it, it is unacceptable. We got these kids in there. Maybe this is a challenge, a TikTok challenge, a prank. And I'm going to show you guys a video, but he's acting as if he is dunking on, um, it looks like young females. Maybe some males involved too. Uh, but <clears throat> very inappropriate actions, which could be perceived as bullying. It could also be, um, it could also spark a fight. So I'm going to show you guys a video first. Let me see if there's music. Okay. There's a little music. I'm not going to play the music, but look, he jumps over this girl and I guess he acting like he's dunking on him or something like that. 
or playing leapfrog. I don't know. But it's very inappropriate. Um, Teabagging her, essentially. And it could lead to a lot of problems. This is what these young brothers is doing in, in the classroom and in the hallways. I mean, they could be hit with assault charges. They could be hit with battery charges. Like, it makes no sense. And it looks like he was only doing young ladies. Which could get you in even more trouble. Especially in this Me Too era. Uh, so, if you are a young brother and you're in high school, middle school, whatever, and you're watching my video, do not try this at your school because it could lead to you getting suspended. It could lead to you getting charges brought up on you. This could be... It could be um, interpreted as a sexual type i'm just telling you what to be aware of okay it looks like he's trying to have fun and all you know it's all fun and games but i i do not advise this okay i don't advise this man it's just it's not conducive of a healthy learning environment you're just doing the most okay and it doesn't make any sense why these kids are out here wilding, okay? I know you may think it's funny. And it's just, oh, just fun little games and all that kind of stuff. Nah, bro. It's not. And it leads to um, major delinquency, I believe, okay? Because the guys who are doing these jokes and stuff like that, there's only a few DC young flies, okay? And a lot of those dudes don't turn out that well. Look at Boont Gang. He was kind of on the same type of level, doing little pranks online. And now he's got tattoos all over his body, shot himself, got beat up on camera. It, he, you know, had a drug addiction. It all went downhill really fast. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Medgar Evers. And it's a very tranquil scene compared to just a couple hours ago where a drive-by shooting just took place. Uh, uh, excuse me. I I'm getting live updates as we speak. I've just been updated to the amount of casualties from this drive-by shooting. And I'm getting reports that two people were actually declared deceased and 27 others were shot and injured but are in stable condition. And although we must pray for the families of the fallen, we must also praise God for the aim of the super gremlin. If you want to know more about the victims of this crime, make sure you add BGZM News 17 on Patreon at www.patreon.com backslash Black Gen Z Mindset. Also, don't forget to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and comment on the video to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. For more hard-hitting news coverage from the Communita by the Communita, I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. And cut. All right, dog. Let's get the out of here for these niggas come Whoa. back. Whoa. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Ain't that that nigga Jim? Nah, nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. He just went live. That ain't with me. That funky ass yeah, suit that's on. That nigga. That's not me. Hey, hey get hey, that nigga. Jim Quavey Jackson, here live. Man. Reporting from Atlanta, Georgia. Pray for me. Ah! Man is found guilty in a violent shooting over a game of Uno. Investigators say this happened at a house party in Marietta last December. All right, guys, so we covered this story earlier, and he actually shot a family member over a card game of, like Uno, all right? And I know Uno games get very competitive. You're trying to hide your cards. You don't want people to know how many cards you got, you know? You're racing to that Uno out, right? And you finally get Uno, 
and you and you call it on the slick, right? Because if somebody else calls Uno for you, then they'll basically make you draw more cards and you won't have Uno anymore. So you playing Uno, you you, you calling it on the slick and you like Uno. Boom. Hold on. I didn't see that you had Uno. Now your opponent is upset. And you talking crap, you know, yeah, I told you I was going to beat you. Da, 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 da. And y'all know how greasy a lot of these folks get in the in the community. Okay, so you talking greasy. Yeah, I told you I was going to get you that eh, 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 and all that kind of stuff, right? Nanana -na boo boo, as I like to call it. And you finally get that Uno out. And now he's heated, you know. He got the little Tory Lanes going on. Hair follicles ain't as strong as what they used to. He's going bald. He's feeling a little self-conscious. He needs a W right now. He needs a win right now in his life. And you know that. But it's getting rubbed in his face. And it pushes him to become a super gremlin on demon time. Taylor Grant and the victim got into an argument after the game. At that point, Grant pulled out a gun and shot the victim in the arm and threatened to kill him. Grant was convicted on charges of aggravated assault and possession of a firearm during. And I wouldn't be surprised if they put money on the game. That can definitely uh, lead to something like this, but it's never okay to shoot somebody over a game, you know, you lose the competition once you get out of bounds, out of the rules of the competition, and take it physical, all right? That's why they have flagrant fouls, technical fouls. This is a flagrant foul on the play. Point, Grant pulled out a gun and shot the victim in the arm and threatened to kill him. Grant was convicted on charges of aggravated assault and possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony. All right, guys, so the final video that I have for you guys today is about Ari Fletcher. Um, and she is the girlfriend of Moneybag Yo. And she has come under fire, under heat on social media for bringing her child to the club, even though it's a quote unquote family event, right? Bringing her child to the club where there are many half naked women. <clears throat> But she brought her little boy to the club and is also involving herself in thoughtery behavior, like twerking on another woman, okay? And I told you guys, when you go to the club, you're not going to see many women dancing on men. It's going to be women dancing on women. That is the world that we live in today, okay? The modern Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? But now these women are bringing their children and getting their children involved in the club. And I was actually watching a video where this where this woman was basically saying that it didn't matter that she had an OnlyFans, even if her son was being bullied, she would find a way to get help for him. And I just, uh, the mentality of a lot of these uh, single mothers, um, the, the, the way that I could sum it up is selfishness. They say they live for their kid, they say their child is their everything, their son is their everything, but then they put their children in compromising positions like such. So let's watch this mother of the year, okay, on Mother's Day, or a week before Mother's Day. It was the weekend before Mother's Day weekend, twerking in the club, exposing her son to all this debaucherous behavior. And, and we know these bottle girls and strippers in the club, they definitely are, um, you know, quasi prostitutes as well. They're selling that WAP on the side for um, extra bread. Watch as she is twerking in front of her child. So once he sees his mom and her booty gyrating in the way that he, he was doing something else and then boom, he stops. And you want to tell me that kids are not affected by this behavior. Now, obviously her body is fake. Okay. But you see the kid, he's over here, he's minding his business, he's playing with a, it looks like like a little balloon that looks like a, 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 a spiked sludge hammer or something. <laughs> and he's playing with this little balloon. <clears throat> and once he spins around, he sees the thottery that his mother is partaking in. 
stops. Immediate stop. He immediately stopped. Shout out to me. So women dancing on women like I told you. Now, the booty is gyrating. I'm not going to lie. It's gyrating. But it's not appropriate for a child of this age to be in this environment, to be in this club, to be watching his mother participate in these activities. And you wonder why these young black men grow up so effed up. Because this is the example they have to look up to.